What's up YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Mystery Dungeon 2 Wiggly Tufts Guild Team. Okay, uh, this one is for Patreon. If you want your theme team done, you can check it out in the description of the video. Uh, Guzma, this one is for you. Alright, so I had a um, couple of Pokemon there to pick from Wiggly Tufts Guild. Now, uh, leave your uh, favourite theme team suggestions, as usual people, in the comments section below. Uh, the highest thumb up comment will be the winner, or you could be picked for a Mystery Monday, which always lands on Monday. Now, I had two marathon battles here. Um, I did actually have to speed some bits up, but they're really good. You should definitely stick around for the whole thing as well. These are really, really tight battles and pretty intense there. Alright, so we have a Gorgese lead here. It's going to frisk out my Fidium Z. Oh, I'd got a really really uh, funny uh, Z move to show you with uh, Diggle there getting busting its hand, invisible hands out anyway uh, I'll get to this one yeah, I'll get to that bit in a sec all right so we have a uh, Gorge lead here it hits me with a uh, I, I thought it was a banded uh, C bomb there this is my bulky special defensive Sunflora now this has early bird with rest um, gig, uh, sorry get yeah, Giga Drain rest um, so only sleeping for one turn there with my ability. I've also got Leech Seed and Toxic on that one. Okay, so we have a Pig Knight coming in here. They, guys, they, 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 I knew they stole that Pokemon from my username. Come on. Anyways, um, it was, it's quite funny because my username was actually a, around a long time before that Pokemon. Like many, many years. Like probably like, uh, I don't know the exact amount of years. Probably like five or six, seven years before that Pokemon was even made. It's just quite funny. Anyways, uh, I'm going to Toxic that one. Uh, now it's going to go for the Curse here. So... And when I'm seeing Curse, I thought there could be a chance this could be a Rest Sleep Talk set too. Uh, that would be a problem because the only thing I can really do to that is a poison it and they can heal it. Um, so I thought they'd best to set up the Leech Seed there. Now I did have a strategy to take it out, but um, it was just dependent on whether it had Rest or not on the set. Okay, now Diglett was... I'll get more into that set. That was a Max Speed and Max Attack set. Um, now I had the Fight EMZ coming off Reversal there. Um, I actually didn't have Focus Slash on I had Endure, so I could get that Reverse Wipe. I also had Earthquake on that one, uh, too, just for some step. Okay, so, uh, swapping into Chimeco, this was a Trick Rumor, and I had uh, Psychics just as a little bit of a uh, stab there, too. Uh, now, Pig Knight's going to hit me with a Fire Punch. It doesn't do too much. Obviously, it doesn't have, probably doesn't have anything invested in attack. I'd say with the Curse Set, it's probably just, you know, probably max uh, health, max special defense there with Everlight and uh, thick fat there. Okay, it works very, very effectively. All right, so um, it's going to be poison, and it's got the leech seed happening on it, which is good. So it's in pretty good range for me to actually take out here. Now they're going to swap out their pig knights. So I was like, okay, maybe it doesn't have rest. That's good. Um, you know, I might be able to take that on uh, a little bit later. So their team is very, very bulky. The ta Pokemon were very, very tanky, like all of them were. So this is kind of what made the battle so long. Okay, so I hit it with a Psychic anyway. It does a little bit more damage than I would have thought to Dustnor, um, purely because I'm not running any special attack EVs on this. I'm running max health uh, split defenses. Um, I'm running on this Toxic as well. I had a double Toxic user on this team. Uh, Trick Room, Recover, and Psychic. Uh, Trick Room was for one of the other Pokemon there, um, which I'll get to in a second. Anyways, uh, so I got the Toxic up on the Dust Knoll there. Um, it seems to be like a physical attacker, um, like or just something like that, because Psychic did way too much damage to it. I know Dust Knoll so well, and it's just such a bulky Pokemon. That's really why I wanted to get the Toxic up on it. Anyway, so swapping out Trimeco, I really can't do too much here. I was a little bit worried about a Ghost-type move, so I went into Beat Off, which works well with the Trick Room. Now it's going to use will o -Wisp there. I was kind of hoping it wasn't carrying that. It was a full sweeping set, but most of the time, you know, does not always has that. Um, I was expecting maybe like a, I don't know, like a Shadow Sneak or a sh maybe a Shadow Punch or something like that. Anyway, so Bidoff is burned here. This was a sweeping Bidoff set. Uh, I had max health with Everlight and I had max attack. Uh, but also had the simple ability and I had Sword Dance too. So when I use Sword Dance, instead of getting that plus two, I got the plus four. Um, I had Hyper Fang on this, I had Crunch, and I had Quick Attack as well. Um, so this thing hit really, really hard there under the Trick Room. It was it was sweeping in Trick Room in some uh, battles there, but um, I'll let you. I won't spoil what happened this one. So obviously um, uh, the next one, because obviously this one is burned here, and I can't really do shit. Now I've got another Stolly Pokemon being Altaria spamming uh, Cotton Guard here. So I had like a, so many walls to get past. So setting up Sword Dance anyway, I thought I might as well get like some sort of Sword Dance up and try and go for a crit with Hyper Fang. That's really all I can go for here. 
Um, you know, it's basically dead weight. I really wanted to run Heal Bell on my Chimeco, but I couldn't quite fit it in uh, for this theme team there. I kind of wanted to run uh, some other moves on it, so uh, that was a little bit disappointing that I couldn't get rid of that burn. Anyway, so it's going to hit me with a Dragon Pulse there, doing uh, fairly good damage there. Obviously, it doesn't have anything in Special Attack. I'd say it'd be less fully, mostly fully invested uh, in its defenses and max health. Okay, so it's got leftovers there. So it's, a, it's, it's just a typical like cotton guard set uh, there, which is fine. I don't want to swap anything into it. I want to have a fresh swap into it. I did have one Pokemon that could absolutely uh, annihilate it, but that was the only Pokemon I had to actually take this thing out. So I had to be very careful how I use it. All right, so going for the Hyper Fang there, and it doesn't crit and it doesn't really do too much damage. Plus I'm burned too. I really had to take all that into account that uh, as soon as I got burned, uh, Bidoof was dead weight. Okay, uh, so obviously I'm going to go down to the next turn there. I've got Quick Attack on this one, so I thought I'd just go for that to get some extra damage on the Altaria and uh, just go down the next turn. I knew that it would have something like Roost because once you see Cotton Guard, it's always got Roost. Uh, D-Pulse as well there. Anyway, so bit off down, which is disappointing. I wanted to get more use out of it. However, he does come back in later on in the video, so make sure you stick around for some uh, bit off action, people. Okay, uh, so I've got to get rid of this thing. It's a big uh, pain in the ass. So I've got Wiggly Tough here, um, which is all the way from Gen 1. I've got Tri Attack on this uh, with a Frisk. I'm um, going to see its leftovers, which are already new anyway. It's also got Blizzard, Dazzling Gleam, and Fire, Fire Blast. I'm running a Choice Specs on this one. All right, so Dust Nord's going to come in here. Unfortunately, Altari didn't actually stay into that. Probably scared of uh, you know, a Fairy-type move from me. So I went for the Blizzard there, and that's going to be just enough to take out the Dust Nord there with the Specs and the Toxic damage there. So that was really good there that I had that Toxic up on there. Was, that would have been able to hit me with some uh, kind of physical move. Okay, so we have the Pig Knight coming in here. So I was thought I could stay in or just go for Blizzard to try and take this thing out, but I thought, nah. I, I have a feeling that it could have rest swapping into this, and then it busts off the rest. I'm like, man, this really, really sucks. I've got like, um, I've got like an Altari, and I've got a um, Pig Knight that are both really, really bulky and like super duper stally. So uh, I don't have like, I don't have a huge amount of like really powerful special attackers either. These were just, um, you know, I had Wiggler stuff, which was pretty powerful uh, with the dazzling gleam. That was probably the best attack or the tri attack I could do against. Um, the Pig Knight, but they were the main attacks. I knew that it would probably be like a three-hit KO uh, with that uh, bulky max defense and special, uh, you know, special defense with Everlight there. Okay, um, so it uh, looks like Psychic's about a four-hit KO because I've got nothing in... Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything in investment there. So I thought maybe I could, you know, get a critical hit on this thing or a special defense drop and take it out. However, they're going to swap out and go uh, back into Gorgeist here. Now, Gorgeist didn't seem like it was super-duper bulky, so I was thinking it would be a good thing to get rid of that one, um, you know, and get down to the tank so I could try and take them out. So Psychic does a lot of damage there, probably too much damage for it to be a stalling one. Um, probably it's like looking like more of an offensive one there. Okay, so swapping out Chimeco there, I don't want to take anything like uh, any sort of ghost move there. So I went back into chat out there. Now it's going to use tricks. So it tricks me um, a choice being, which I did think I have uh, from the early on the game, like that C-bomb, like sort of showed that. I had the Toxic Orb, so I was running a facade set, a physical facade set on um, my channel here. I get the Choice Band, which gives me uh, a boost in power in the airways, which takes out the Gorgie. So I could not have hoped for a much, like, it, it wouldn't, it's like, it just didn't turn out any better than that. So that was awesome. Okay, so that's down. Right, so we have to mine them. Uh, sorry, the plus will come in. I always mess those two up. Uh, so obviously I'm going to have to swap out here. I'm locked into Choice Band there. So on that chat out set too, I had Steel Wing for Rock types. Not that it hit really hard, but it was just, you know, it was better coverage than uh, nothing. I had Facade there with the Toxic Orb. Um, I had Air Away, so I also had Work Up on that one uh, with the Toxic Orb as the item. All right, so I'm going to outspeed the Plus here with uh, Diglett, which is uh, good. And that's going to uh, take that out one shot. Not sure what the hidden power was there, but... Uh, that uh, has got rid of that one. Now, um, so we have the, obviously we got the two tanks left and we have Meganium. So Meganium also turned out to be a very, very bulky Pokemon as well. It's obviously it's bulky in nature. So like all of the Pokemon are bulky pretty much. Even the, uh, you know, the, uh, take away the, I guess the plus all there and uh, the Gorgas was a sweeper, but man, these Pokemon were like super duper bulky. Okay, anyway, so I wanted to do this one, show you guys, it's the it's the best Z move ever. So Diggle obviously doesn't have any hands, right? So I went off a reversal and to show you guys the best Z move in the world, Diggle grows those, uh, grows those fists and uh, does some hype punching there. Now, um, with this one, it uh, it doesn't do too much damage, obviously, but uh, it, man, it looks cool and uh, it's fun to use with a reversal 
are obviously there. Okay, so it doesn't do too much to a Meganium there, and here it's going to go for my favorite feeling move and uh, heal itself up to max. So this part, I had to speed up 300% because it just took so long to freaking uh, kill this thing. Okay, so I just went for a duo there, so I get the max power reversal. Reversal doesn't do too much anyway. Now it's going to get a boost with Ancient Power, which sucks. Um, it does have the leftover recovery there, so I really need to take this thing out. All right, so it's going to set up a Leech Seed there. Go ahead, Toxic Misses first, and I'm like, for fuck's sake. So, um... Here we are, still have to speed this putt up because it was such a long bit. Now, I've got the um, Psychic on this and I've got the uh, Toxic there too. I get paralyzed by Body Slam. Of course I do. Anyways, um, like I really needed that heal well. Anyway, so I'm trying to get this thing down. I thought, like I got Recover on here. It actually hadn't shown that I had Recover. So I thought, I just want to get this thing as much damage as possible. Then I can swap in Wigglytuff there. Then they're going to have to make a decision whether to swap in, you know, Altaria or you know, Pig Knight, and they're going to have to swap into something strong, uh, maybe my, like a Tri-Attack or a, uh, you know, a Fire Blast or a Blizzard. Okay, so Trimeco is pretty much nearly down here. I could have gone for Recover there to stall, but I thought there's enough stall happening in this battle already. I just want to, you know, I, I want to get into this one, and it's going to creep me there and take me out, not that it really mattered or anything. Okay, so the Toxic is really racking up on the Meganium now. Um, here I'm going to go, I think I went for the Blizzard here, and it freaking misses and is able to get the freaking Toxic, oh uh, sorry, not the Toxic, uh, the Leech Seed up on my Wigglytuff. Okay, so down it's going to go the next turn, so swapping into Sunflora there uh, to take the Body Slam. Uh, obviously it's not going to do too much damage there, and the Toxic is going to be enough to take out the Meganium finally the next turn. Uh, it's going to go for yet another Body Slam there, but it doesn't really matter on Sunflora, I can just use like whatever move. Uh, however, I get paralyzed again there, and I'm going to... Finish it off with the Giga Drain. So finally, Meganium's out of the way. So the last two Pokemon left are the uh, the Stolly Altari with Cotton Guard and the uh, bulky Cursing Rest Sleep Talk uh, Pig Knight there. So I really need to get past this. Is I only had two Pokemon left, and I was at a big disadvantage there. Um, you know, Sunflora could not touch either of those Pokemon um, outside of Toxic, but then again, Altaria could just swap out and get with a natural cure there. Okay, so uh, this is going to come in. Uh, the Pig Knight have to swap out here because... Um, it's a horrible matchup, and I can't really do anything besides using Leech Seed. Okay, so Pig Knight is going to be uh, asleep here, and it's going to go for the Sleep Talk. And unfortunately, with the Sleep Talk there, it's able to get a Fire Punch off on my chat up there, doing lots of uh, damage to it. It's not the, you know, the bulkiest Pokemon well. Guys, I'm on 69 health. Anyway, so it's got to swap out there. I knew that it would go into Altaria, unfortunately. I was going to go for the Banded uh, Aerial Ace to take it out, and uh, it doesn't really do too much damage there to Altaria. Obviously, it's attack is trash as well. Now, I was thinking, well, Altaria is either going to go for a Cotton Guard, or it's just going to go for a Roost to try and stall me out again, like it was doing before. So, I'm going to swap out into the Wigglytuff. I hadn't actually revealed that I had Dazzling Gleam either, so I thought that was my best play. Okay, so speeding this bit up. So, they're going to go for the Roost again. Um, here, I went for the Dazzling Gleam. They're going to go for just, they're just spamming Roost now to, I don't know, try and PP stall out my... Um, Dazzling Gleam, obviously um, predicting that I was a choice spec set. So this goes on for a while. They're spamming there. Unfortunately uh, for them, the Dazzling Gleam is just doing too much damage there, and I am gaining damage on how much they are roosting. So eventually this Altari is going to go down. Obviously it doesn't have anything to hit me because it's got Dragon Pulse. So that seems to be its only attacking move. And uh, the second one, sorry, the third one there almost took it out. And I knew the fourth one would be enough to take it out there anyway. So obviously it couldn't really do anything outside of rest there other than just uh, use up some of my Dazzling Gleam PP. And thank God that is finally down. So the last Pokemon is the Pig Knight here. Um, like I said, I thought I'd go for Dazzling Gleam my best play here. Uh, they're going to go for rest, obviously there never saw that one coming uh, they're gonna get all their health back now the thing is they had to get um, they had to get those curses up and get not get rest that was sort of what I was relying on so first things first I thought let's swap in and get the leech seed off that'll definitely help me be a three hit KO unfortunately they're gonna get the uh, curse there okay so since I'm paralyzed there that's not gonna help my situation either so they're gonna be able to go for the rest sleep talk again and they get freaking Fire Punch, which is going to be enough to take out my Sun Floor there. I really wanted, I really, really did need it, that Leech Seed there. Hello, I'm down to my last Pokemon here. All right, so locking myself into Tri-Attack here. I need to do as much damage as possible. Even Tri-Attack didn't do too much. It's going to wake up and Fire Punch me there. Got to go for the Tri-Attack here. It hangs on with like a dick of health, and it's going to rest again. So I'm like, damn, I, I really need a critical hit here. Um, I needed to use sleep, rest talk, uh, sleep talk, rest like twice in a row. Um, and, like I need everything to like fall in place here, all get maximum damage on all my hits. All right, so it gets rest the first time. 
Uh, since I'm locked into a tri attack, I have to go for it here. It's still looking like a four hit KO. The uh, Pig Knight is going to go for uh, Sleep Talk. Gets rest again. The last tri attack takes out the Pig Knight with a crit. Finally, man. It only took the whole battle to get that crit at the end. Uh, thanks for the battle. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get on to the, th uh, the next battle. Man, that one was like a marathon. It was like 50 turns or something. All right. So, uh, just, actually, I need a drink. My, my throat's a little bit dry. It's a little bit uh, horse. I mean, mud style. Anyway, so we have a, a Mulgalead here. It's going to go for the U-turn on my Diggle there. Almost taking me out like one hit. Uh, so embarrassing. It's, it's, it's defense is absolutely utter trash. Okay, so we have a uh, Simipaw coming here. Going for the uh, Home Claws here. Trying to bo uh, boost up my attack. So I thought I could go for the uh, Z move here on the Fight MZ. Uh, but I, th I thought, uh, I really want to get a kill. I might be glad, you know, be able to conserve that from the next Pokemon. But it's a bulky Simapore there. It's going to take me out with a Wardfall. I was like, damn, son, that didn't do any damage at all. Uh, that nearly should have actually taken it out if it's a sweeping one. Uh, it's also got leftovers there as well. So you can, you know, it's definitely a bulky one there. Okay. So, i got to take this thing out. So, swapping a Wheelie Tough here. I know that I can go for Tri-Attack. This thing's obviously going to be a lot less bulky on its special side than its defensive side uh, there. Okay, so now it's going to go for the Toxic there. So, it's definitely a, you know, a support style bulky set, which is cool. I like that. Uh, it's a little bit uh, change up from the uh, uh, the uh, you know, the normal uh, sweeping one there. Okay. So, anyways, uh, that's going to go down to the Tri-Attack, which is good. Um, unfortunately, I'm poisoned there, but that's not too bad. Um, I was able to get rid of Simi before there. All right, so we have the Luminion coming in here, which is looks kind of strange, Shine. It's like a, a brownie color. Okay, so now this is going to go for the Whirlpool, trapping my Wigglytuff in there. So, it's a trapping uh, set, which you know obviously couples with Toxic there. So, here I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack. That's a lot of damage there. Um, so, it's a two-hit KO, which is great. I was wondering if this thing had any form of recovery or stalling like a uh, you know rest or protect or anything like that uh which would sort of work against me it does have protect so that's fine uh, the next turn i know that i can take it out unless it gets like a double protect in a row so i'll be like kind of salty if that did happen anyways that toxic is starting to rack up doing uh lots of damage there to me and as well as the whirlpool there so i know i'm on borrowed time here i have to take this thing out uh, this turn. So it's going to go for the Silver Wind there, trying to get a Scummy Boost, which it doesn't. I resist that, thank God. And uh, that's going to be the Luminion down there to the Tri Attack, which is nice. I, I like Luminion, it's a cool Pokemon. Okay. Uh, so you guys should definitely bring some Pokemon over from Gen 1. You can get to, like some really cool uh, like TM moves like Tri Attack. Anyway, so Wiggly's going to go down to the Whirlpool Toxic combo there. Um, from the Simipore Luminion uh, sort of strategy there. Okay, so uh, they're going to bring in a Molga. I'm going to bring in Chadot here. Now, I thought this would be a terrible matchup, so I'm going to have to swap out and go into Trimeco and, you know, see what they're going to do, what the set's going to be. Uh, now it's going to go for the Rain Dance here. So obviously, uh, it's going to go for Thunder the next turn, giving that, uh, you know, 100% accuracy in the rain. Now, I either needed to go for a Toxic or a Trick Room here. Uh, to try and outspeed this thing. It's going to go for the U-turn. I already knew that I had U-turn, but I'm semi-bulky in both defenses, and it's not stab on a Mulga, so I didn't think it would do too much. All right, so we have big bad Waylord coming out here. I love Waylord. It's such a cool Pokemon. Uh, it's going to... I wasn't sure what set it was going to be. So here I went for the Trick Room there anyways. Now, Trick Room kind of worked against me, I think, in this stage, because Waylord is a pretty slow Pokemon itself, and uh, even with those uh, negatives in speed, IVs, I was still outspeeding it. Okay, so going for the Toxic there anyway, in case it was a bulky stalling set, or I wasn't really sure if it was a sweeping or stalling set. Could be lots of things. It's a really cool Pokemon. It's going to have Noble Roar, which is a really, really cool move. Um, now, Noble Roar drops the attack and special attack of a Pokemon, so it's a nice move. It's obviously signature to, like, um, Pyroar. Uh, but a lot of new Pokemon um, have got, a lot of old and new Pokemon have got the move too, which is which is nice. Uh, anyways, so I've got the Toxie up there. That's the main thing. Swapping out Chimeco now. Uh, swapping in Chadot here. I've wanted to get some damage off with that one, uh, with the uh, facade there. Now it's going to go for Brian. There's a lot of damage to me there. Only really saved me because it's low base power. However, with Brian, once your health goes below half, it doubles in base power. So going from like 60 to 120, it hits like a truck in the rain there. So swapping out uh, the chat out now, going into Sunflora there. Obviously, uh, Brian's not going to do anything to me there. It's going to be like watering the flowers. Um, since I'm bulky in special defense too, which is nice. That was actually a critical hit. Okay, so here I can go for the Giga Drain. Um, even with all its invested in uh, HP and special defense, um, Sunflora has a mega, mega special attack there. So it's, yeah, it's very powerful there. And that's going to be heaps and take out the Waylord there. 
I really like Sunflower. It's a cool Pokemon. Okay, it's got Monster Special Attack. All right, so that's Waylord down. So uh, things are going fairly good. I've uh, got I'm, I'm up one Pokemon at the moment. Now, uh, so we have the Mawile. This was a bit of a problem. So now it's going to go for the Iron Head on my Sunflora. Since I'm not defensive, it does a crap load of damage to me there. I was able to just throw up the seeds there, which is nice. That was basically all I could do. Uh, there was no point in me really going for Giga Drain or anything. It resisted that. I thought uh, Leech Seeds would be you know, a much uh, better option there. Unfortunately, I really couldn't fit something like Protect on this set, so I couldn't make 100% use of it. But uh, that was the main thing. That, anyway, so I had to stay into this one. Like, none of my Pokemon could really swap into Iron Heads for a while. So that was my Sunflora down there. Okay. So have to swap in Trimeco here. I really need to, you know, I really need to get some sort of damage on this thing. Right, so now it's going to go for the crunch on my Chimeco. Doing a lot of damage there. Um, unfortunately, I'm just going to go for recovery. I need to stall this thing. Man, I need to drink again. These long narrations, though, people. Anyways, uh, so I've got that recover up. So it can really here keep going for crunch. Hope for the defense drop. Or I can just get that leech seed, you know, that leech seed magic happening. Um, and then start spamming psychic, maybe. That was my thought process at the moment. I really didn't have much to actually touch this thing at all. All right, so it's going to continue to go for the crunch there. Doing shitloads of damage to me there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now I'm going to go for the trick room. So I want to go first. So uh, I've got my trick room up, which is nice. Got the recover um, happening next, so I can either go for recover or go for psychic. And I got obviously I still got the leech seed happening there. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would swap, so then I could maybe swap something in later to try and take it out. But here I was like, bugger it! I, I like I really need to get this thing some damage there. All right, so Moa is going to uh, actually swap out there, and Molga is going to come in and take the psychic. So. That wasn't too bad there. It does over half health, which is really nice there. Um, it gets a special defense drop. Not that it really mattered at all, but uh, that's cool. It's a two-hit KO. All right, so since the Trick Room is up, uh, Molga is going to take the, another Psychic there, and that's going to be enough to take it out. So that's a Molga down. So we still have one more Pokemon apart from the Mawile, but Mawile was the problem Pokemon I needed to take out. And I had a feeling it would come back in because it was, it was the sort of like the best thing uh, match up here. All right, so it's going to come in. I thought, well, I could go for Leech Seed here or I could go for Psychic. Decided to go for Psychic just to get some damage off on it because it was so like annoying there. Okay, so it's going to go for a Metal Burst this time, which is cool. Now, Metal Burst is sort of like Counter and Miracote there. Um, it's not going to take me out. It also has the Life Orb damage there. So I guess I'll maybe hoping for a little bit more damage on my Psychic there to take me out. Uh, not that it mattered too much because uh, here I can get it outsped and it's going to go for the Crunch there, taking my Chimeco out. However, that Crunch did have the Life Orb uh, damage too, so that's a little bit extra for me, and the uh, you know the Trick Room has run out there too. So swapping in my chat on here, since I got the Toxic Go up, I can freely go for the Facade on the Moal there, and that's going to be just enough there to take it out. So that was awesome, getting rid of the Moal. So I've got one other unknown Pokemon well, for, that I haven't shown yet uh, to the opponent, and I've got my uh, Moal there as well. So we have the Mighty Cast form here. I knew that I knew the facade would do some heavy damage, so I decided to go for that one there. Wasn't sure if it was going to actually transform with a forecast there. It's just going to go for Weather Ball uh, to take out my Chatot there, and that's my Chatot Dance. So the last Pokemon is bit off. This was the Sword Dance uh, Hyper Fang uh, bit off there we saw before with the Everlight. So I was thinking, well, it's in range there for me to take out. Let's go for the Sword Dance here. It's just going to go for a straight Weather Ball without even transforming. Um, you know, it's quite bulky with its Everlight there, which is nice here. So I'm going to get up the Sword Dance here. So that gives that nice, uh, simple ability there, giving me a shitload of uh, attack damage there. My final Quick Attack is going to be enough to take it out. And that is game. I hope you guys enjoyed both these battles. Enjoy the bloopers.